Another example where I added mental load for my wife, fall air conditioners edition. So we're here in New England. The past couple of weeks, it's been getting quite a bit cooler. Mid-September, we took the AC out of our toddler's room. The one we had for downstairs and in our room was still there. Over the past couple of weeks, as we've pretty much stopped using it because it's been cooler more than warm and we just got our wood pellets for our wood pellet stove. I've definitely had moments noticing, oh, like those ACs will need to get done soon too. And it was this morning when Alyssa said, hey, I would really appreciate it if you could do those today. I believe this is the second time that she's asked or inquired about them. The emotional labor she showcased here was being concerned about the energy bill of heating the house because it's less efficient when those are in versus when the windows are closed. So finance is being the driver, which puts onto her mental load, hey, the ACs need to be uninstalled. I've been trying to come up with a reason subconsciously, maybe that I haven't gone after it. My best answer is a mix between I've been feeling lazy, but I think that just like anything around our business, either of our jobs, she had surgery the other day and recovering from that, anything outside of those things is a much lower priority. And so additionally, the mental load I'm realizing that I added to her was it was her job to elevate the urgency level for the ACs being removed. If we were to have created some sort of expectation, I think it would have been either creating a date or like if it hits this temperature, they need to be removed, period. And that was a conversation we never had. Hi, my name's Zach. I'm a recovering man child. Hi, Zach. I work with guys to develop awareness where they're creating mental load. If this is something you're working on, book a relationship goals consult. Link in my bio.